It's time for a BNB update. This is Binance Chain, Binance Coin, BNB, currently around 89 billion on the old market caps, which is fantastic. Thank you for liking the video as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you hold any of this coin. I certainly do. And it's not looking great right now. Okay. It's not looking great. I've been trading a long time, guys. And when you see a chart like this, uh, it's, it's not great. But uh, there is some silver linings and we are still at certain areas that we can recover from. And I will dive deep into that in this video. Okay, so let's just jump straight in to the charts. And again, thank you for the likes. It does help me out a hell of a lot. Okay, so looking at this thing right now, this is what we've got. We had our most recent pump last month, right? Or was it this month? It was this month. Okay, we had our most recent pump. Uh, that smashed us up to seven, uh, $700. Okay, that was fantastic, but uh, pretty much instantly faded. And now we are back down at our very crucial uh, support levels. And this this level isn't the the ultimate uh, kind of bull run level that if this ends, uh, the coin dies or something like that, right? Uh, but it is an important area that I would like to hold. Uh, the problem with this is we have tested this so many times. It's ridiculous. So it's probably probably fairly weak by now, uh, which could lead to a, a bit of a measure move towards the downside. And when I say a bit of a measure move, guys, uh, I'm talking about a bit of a beefy one, okay? And this could lead us all the way down to about $500 per BNB. Uh, this is not great because it would be below the next structural line that does matter a lot, all right, uh, being this one, right? And this this one we hit at uh, $220. Uh, this one we hit at $300. It's crazy that uh, the BNB is, is $600 right now. That's, that's insane. <laughs> that's that's insane. But from our kind of bear market lows here, we can see that, uh, yeah, this is the line that we need to hold. If we don't hold this line, uh, there is there is another line that we could be looking at here, which is this one, right? And uh, I know it sounds kind of dumb saying lines, but that's what they are, all right? And uh, essentially, it's, it's the structure, right? It's the structure for the parabolic run here. If we did head down uh, and we did lose essentially about 500 bucks, 493 to be exact, uh, we could probably expect to come down uh, to the the high 300s to 400 buck area, okay? Uh, and that would obviously mean that the Bitcoin and, and a lot of the other major coins would come down as they are potentially losing structure as well. But it's not all bearish here for BNB. Uh, we have had a massive run. I would say this coin is, is ridiculously ahead of most of the market here uh, in terms of where the chart is compared to last last cycle. So us heading down here isn't necessarily a bad thing. It would feel a lot more like a retracement than a massive crash. Okay. Uh, and we do have these fib levels as well that could potentially hold us up. And they I mean, this this point five doesn't really align with anything, right? But the the point the point six one eight uh, does, right? There is a bit of structure around this zone, uh, and it's also uh, if it did take its time to get down here, of course, then uh, yeah, it would align uh, fairly nicely with uh, with this trend line as well, right? And this is a very crucial structural line uh, to be watching. All right, so we will keep an eye on that. But as of right now, we are chilling on the, on the top side here, uh, and we are above our crucial uh, our crucial supports that we need to stay above. All right, uh, another thing. I want to talk about here, guys, is these uh, these volume weighted ATR bands, right? Uh, you guys know I talk about these a lot. This is an indicator I've made. Okay, Patreons do have access to it. If not, you can see these every single day on my channel. <laughs> it's not a problem, right? Uh, but the point here being, uh, these plot out our range, average true range weighted by volume. Okay, uh, and we can see here that every time we hit this, it does cause pretty significant reactions. Or every time we even get close to it, it seems we do pump. So the buy pressure does seem to come in with this thing. I am interested to see where the hourly one is on this coin and see if that aligns a little bit better as a support. Again, uh, with indicators like this, you have to be looking at each asset differently and some of them will have different correlations than other ones. Some of them will have different edges than other ones. But overall, generally, you want your indicators, if you are making them, to, to kind of uh, be universal to some sense of the word, right? So you can see the hourly here plotting in the range pretty nicely and a bit more of a tighter scale. Okay, so I would be using these two in tandem and I would be using these two, uh, essentially, if we, if we, let's say we were here, right, and we dumped down, I would be using that four hour as that potential recovery point, right? Uh, so yeah, using that uh, and and uh, and keeping that in the forefront of your mind. Let's get rid of the hourly for now and just look at this four hour one because if we do lose the four hour, like we've done with a lot of other coins right now, uh, it's really the, the time you wanna be looking to buy and, and get that dip on this coin is when we do reclaim that four hour volume weighted ATR band, right? Uh, these these are the key areas uh, to be watching. You can see this, this is just, it's plain, it's plain sight. You don't need to be a TA uh, analyst or expert to see this. It's 
it's very, very true. It's, it's written in the cards here. When we reclaim this, we do get a bit of buy pressure to push us towards the upside, right? Uh, and th that's fantastic. That is really, really good. That's a 13% pump there from reclaiming that. So uh, yeah, keep that in the forefront of your mind because this is going to be very crucial moving forward. All right. And we are just above that four hour. If we do lose it, which I, again, uh, if we lose this trend line, I do think it's quite likely we come down to at least 550 anyway. Uh, but if we do lose this four hour, it's not the end of the world. It's really when we reclaim it. If you're looking to get in or add to your position, it's really when we reclaim it. That's when uh, the buyers can come in. And that's when I will be adding to my position as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much that on that front. Uh, besides that, if we do break our high up in this area, we do have a massive, a massive, a massive measure move, uh, which is essentially from uh, about 740 bucks all the way up. Get your ball tingles ready, okay? It, it, all the way up to 887, uh, which will be fantastic, and that will be a completion of the measure move. Uh, not only that, but this last wave up was ridiculous, so it could extend further here, uh, up into the thousands very, very easily. So uh, yeah, keep an eye on that one, because that's gonna be super important. Uh, and then on the daily, uh, we are on the daily right now, of course, but uh, if I do just get rid of everything, Let's just see where we are in terms of momentum and the moving averages. Uh, so we can see that generally with the moving averages, we are just kind of in the forest, nothing really to talk about here. Usually when we're above all major moving averages, it can be bullish, okay, like so, right? But as of right now, we are in the forest, we are in the thick of it, and there's no real trend to be looking at right now on a daily. Uh, let's see how this looks on the four hour though. I imagine that, uh, yeah, okay, so we are more poised towards the downside on the four hour, uh, which does kind of uh, reiterate my point here that we could potentially get another wave down to this 550 zone, right? Uh, we could get lower and complete this measure move, of course, but I do think uh, it's, it's gonna be a very quick period of time that this happens and there might not be time to react. Uh, it could just be a wicking scenario, right? Uh, that's in, in a more of a bullish stance anyway, right? If we're looking to buy dips on these coins, the market could implode tomorrow uh, and no one could do anything about it, right? Uh, and yeah, then we'd be finding shorts. But as of right now, the macro is bullish across the board. Uh, so as long as we can hold this level with pretty much most of these coins, right? Uh, then uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. And, and that level for BNB right now is essentially around uh, 550 to, to 500, right? If we lose 500, that's really, really bad. But as long as we stay above that area, it would technically go down as a higher low. Uh, and that is good, all right? That is very good. Uh, but yeah, if it can recover from here, fantastic stuff. We'll be looking for that long. Uh, but besides that, the four hour momentum does look fairly bearish. So continuation of this wave uh, would not uh, surprise me. One thing to look out for here, if it does want to turn bullish, is if we make a higher low on these, these smaller time frames, right? So if we make a higher low here, right? Uh, basically, if we turn around from where we are right now, and then we get above up to about 640, uh, then there might be some wiggle room here for a little long back up to the top side of the range, but incredibly risky that one. So uh, just be careful if you are out there trading it. Hourly, on the other hand, let's just see how this has been behaving. Uh, I want to see how trappy this thing is. Yeah, super trappy on the hourly. I would probably avoid trading this on the hourly uh, just generally. Okay, let's just see how our moving average strategy would cope with this thing. So no 1% trade there. Okay. Um, this one's probably more like, yeah, so no 1% trade there. So the 1% trade um, strategy is not working currently with BNB. That's absolutely fine. It's important to do this analysis and not blindly go into something expecting it to work, right? So we can see more recently in the current kind of micro cycle that this coin is in, uh, we do not want to be finding shorts uh, from the, uh, the 7 SMA, right? But with that said and done, the uh, the 21 EMA does look a little bit more promising on the way down here, uh, or just the price action channel to start laddering in positions and taking advantage of that downtrend. But as of right now, I would probably wait for us to break this low first. So if we lose 590 and we come down here, uh, then uh, yeah, I'll be looking for the retest, of course, but uh, looking to, to kind of test these moving averages and then have a little bit of a wave down from there uh, in which you could probably make one or 2% quite easily. But again, this, this is the, the lower time frame, so super, super risky, and I just wanted to kind of uh, highlight that of course if you are a degen if you are risking it for the biscuit with those high leverage trades uh yeah that's probably how i would do it but uh it is risky and you are very likely to lose money i would probably just wait for this this uh this pattern to break generally this is what i'm i'm planning to do anyway and you guys know right i'm looking for the uh, more than anything i'm looking for the volume weighted atr band if we can touch this and then start an uptrend and, and break resistance right then that's great okay if we lose this four hour uh, and then we reclaim it then we're looking for that long um, which will be massive. Okay, it will be massive. So yeah, that's my plan coming through. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you want to see more BNB content, let me know in the comments. Uh, and again, thank you for liking it. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And I will see you 
very, very soon. I'm just going to get this video to 10 minutes, 5 seconds. Come on, come on. We're doing giveaways soon as well. Lots and lots of giveaways, so feel free to join the Discord, join the communities, get involved with, uh, with all of the boys out here. All right, I'll see you very, very soon. Peace and goodbye. Cheers.